This morning for you on Daybreak, new charges to tell you about related to a stabbing that took place over the weekend in Springfield. And while the Ozarks was spared from any tornadoes yesterday, the Branton area saw damage from rounds of severe storms. Plus, Hannah Zettel has the story of a dog in the Ozarks who has fought the odds but still needs a forever home. We'll have that and more coming up for you this morning here on Daybreak. Well, good morning and welcome on into the show. It's Thursday, May 30th. I'm Lauren Barnes and I'm Joe Morano. As we get moving this morning, need a little jacket out there. Granted, we leave a little earlier than the average than, person. Than most, yes, right. that's true. But Elisa Rafa um, does a few weather hits and cut ins before we start our newscast. And I just heard her say the words finally clear. How nice is that? <sighs> So nice. <laughs> There's the heavy sigh. Yeah. yeah. Right. The three of us were in the weather lab yesterday. Jamie, Beth, and I, of course, tracking the severe thunderstorm watch and the tornado watch. And Jamie was looking at the forecast like, ah, because the <laughs> messy pattern finally going away today. Right. Well, good deal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why do we have the satellite and radar then? Is that to brag about the clearness? It's the, la <laughs> it's the last of the front from yesterday, okay. right? So the last of the showers are exiting to the south and east this morning. So most of us are mostly clear and dry. But for those of us in north central Arkansas, it's the last of that rain from West Plains to Mountain Home. Not seeing any severe weather out of this. We're just looking at some showers from M Mountain View through Melbourne, Ash Flat. Again, this is the last of it. Should be out of here by 9 or 10 o'clock this morning at the latest. Cooler behind our front. Temperatures are running about 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. We're in the 50s and 60s. It's 60 in Monette, 59 in Branson, and 61 in Springfield. Also much more crisp. Dew points are in the 50s this morning. So after a couple of muggy, humid days that fueled those thunderstorms, uh, we're down here on the muggy meter, a little bit more comfortable out there this morning too. So dry roads as you head out today. Again, if you're in north central Arkansas, you might run into some of that rain. Could be some fog out there, but for the most part, looking at some clear conditions at the pool, temperatures a little bit below average in the middle 70s, uh, mostly sunny skies. That UV index still very high at a 9. Uh, we've got some hail reports to talk about on your record wet May, plus a couple of spotty storm chances next week. Your full forecast is in 10. We begin by putting crime into focus this morning. A judge has sentenced a Springfield man to 10 years in prison for endangering the welfare of a child. Robert McCaw, accused of rape and trafficking two underage girls for sex, entered an Alford plea yesterday, meaning he agreed the state had enough evidence to convict him. Two years ago, police say McCaw took two runaway girls to his house in Greene County. Evidence shows he then forced the girls to do drugs, made them perform sexual services for money, and had plans to transport them to Arizona for prostitution. We have new charges from a Springfield stabbing over the weekend to tell you about as 34-year-old Randall Mathis is accused of attacking another man with a brick, then stabbing him multiple times at a home in the 500 block of East Cherry over the weekend. At the scene, officers found the victim with several stab wounds. According to the news leader, the victim said he tried to use a pocket knife to defend himself when Mathis allegedly attacked with the brick, but he claims Mathis grabbed that knife. Mathis has a criminal history that includes arrests for burglary, assault, and property damage. The victim suffered serious injuries but will survive. We have some storm coverage to bring you now. Thunderstorms brought damaging hail near Hollister and Branson yesterday. You can see hail left holes in the siding of some homes off BB Highway near Hollister. The storm was also strong enough to break some home windows. It brought down tree limbs as well. The same neighborhood was actually hit by damaging high winds just about a week ago. Branson emergency officials, meanwhile, activated warning sirens, not because a tornado was spotted, but to notify people outdoors at golf courses, water parks, and shopping malls to seek shelter from high winds and hail. Hail from quarter size to even up to a half an inch was reported around the Branson area. The storm also caused some traffic signals to be knocked offline on Highway 76 and Gretna Road. Less than a day after the city of Nixa announced it would be giving away free weather radios, they've already all been claimed. They were given to those residents over 65, disabled, or who just couldn't afford one. This comes after the severe weather the Ozarks has seen in the past three weeks. That was pretty significant. If you live in Nixa and didn't get one, the city is creating a wait list and applying for grant money. Drew Douglas with the city says they did this to make sure its residents are safe during weather events this time of year. So we wanted to give weather radios out to folks because we know that some people kind of depend on the storm sirens and they really shouldn't be because they're designed to be heard in outdoors. 
So indoors, uh, you know, most of us, you know, maybe we're watching TV or we have a smartphone that can alert us when there's a severe weather uh, moving into the area. But a lot of uh, older folks, maybe folks that don't have smartphones or are not real familiar with how to use that technology, they still kind of depend on weather radios. Also happening around the Ozarks, Branson area leaders in business and faith are getting to know what it's like to live in poverty as a way to hopefully help others escape it. The group met last night to go over progress. The audience was asked to use their smartphones for an exercise that gave them a virtual life of poverty experience. There was also a panel of three who spoke candidly about their real life experiences living in need and drug addiction and how they overcame it. Panel member Carla Perry shared what she believes is the first step to helping people who live in poverty. Know that they're loved and that they're worth saving. Know that there is hope on the other end and that there are people willing to help them. The lack of transportation for those who live in outlying areas was also mentioned as an issue. In a local spotlight for you this morning, you know here on Daybreak we have our weekly pet connections trying to get some animals to find new homes. That's right. Our Hannah Zettel brings us the story of one unique dog, though, that's fought to beat all odds and deserves to be rewarded with a little extra love and care. Hannah. Well, Lauren and Joe, sometimes in life it feels like the odds are stacked against us. That's exactly how one dog feels as she wakes up another numbered morning without her forever home. The Humane Society of Southwest Missouri serves as a temporary home for hundreds of animals, including Penny. Shake. Oh, she knew. Good girl. Good girl. She's just fun. She is a lot. She has a lot of personality. Penny is a seven year old pit bull mix who came to the Humane Society after her owners could no longer care for her. She has this little thing with her eyebrows that she'll even cock her eyebrow at you if you're not giving her exactly what she wants. Despite her sassy attitude and sweet face, Penny spent over one lonely year being glossed over. She was just overlooked um, by everyone. She really wasn't getting out a lot by potential adopters, not really asked about. Karen Fouch is director of development for the Humane Society and says a hygroma on Penny's leg turned away potential adopters and even almost cost Penny her life after it ruptured. But the dark twists of fate don't end there. So after making through all of that, then we discovered that she has cancer on top of all of this. Despite oh. a constant uphill battle, Penny remains unfazed and Fouch believes someone will make this sweet pup their lucky Penny. She's had a rough beginning of her life, <laughs> so we want to make sure that she has an amazing next cha chapter in her life. For now, Penny is taking a break from surgery and focusing on finding a loving home that will change the rest of her life. It is just an adopter that's going to love her, period. Um, six months, two years, three years, however long that, that she has. Is he a good girl? Penny needs to join a family that will keep her medical conditions in mind with no small children or other dogs. Fouch says all she needs is a toy and someone to cuddle with. If you're interested in making Penny a part of your life, and trust me, you want to, contact the Humane Society today. All right, Hannah Zettel, thank you for that sweet report. Still ahead this morning, Uber releases new guidelines on what could get you banned from the app. Plus, Amazon says it's working to improve the privacy of its Alexa devices. That's in your Money Watch coming up. From Color 10 Ozarks First, Lauren Barnes, Joe Morano, and weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. This is Color 10 News Daybreak.